morning and welcome to a new weekly vlog. Today's vlog, or this vlog, is going to be really, really exciting. I've got a very fun week planned. I've just started off um, with a hair colour appointment at Daniel Galvin and a fabulous blow dry because we have a shoot day tomorrow. So I wanted to be as glamorous as possible. Um, this whole vlog is going to be quite bridal themed. I've got a wedding breakfast with Brides Magazine and Moet Chandon later today at Claridge's. Tomorrow is a very exciting shoot day. I can't give away too much, um, but I think you'll probably guess what's going on when you see what we're doing. There are just so many fun things happening this week. We've got an event at De Beers. I've got some bridesmaid shoe personalization going on with Ted Baker. So yeah, stay tuned and um, I will catch up with you later. I remember when you put a spell on me. It drove me flying crazy. Couldn't see back then what's now in front of me. Okay, so I've just arrived home from the Brides Magazine Influencer Breakfast, Wedding Breakfast, um, and I have a rather fabulous, huge goodie bag that I want to share with you guys. I have had four glasses of Moet Champagne, so if I'm a little more lively than usual, that's why. But I have this very, very heavy and rather spectacular looking goodie bag, and I thought I would open it with you guys but also have to show you this bag here because at the event which was at Claridge's it was so beautiful we got to choose five of our favorite flowers and then create a bouquet out of them and this is my finished bouquet oh my goodness it is <laughs> absolutely stunning how gorgeous is that char yeah how stunning is this i wish i knew all the names of the flowers we definitely have peonies ranunculus we have roses and it is just beautiful perfect timing as well because i have my shoot tomorrow and if my bridal bouquet looks even a fraction as fabulous as this i'll be a very happy lady how gorgeous is that um so that was the first thing we did and then we had a delicious three course lunch all paired with various moet champagnes we had a rose vintage from 2009 we had a classic 2009 vintage um and it was just spectacular and then we have this amazing goodie bag so the first thing that shouts out at me is the GHD Gold Professional Stylers. Oh my goodness, how amazing to receive these in a goodie bag. If this is what bridal events are like, then I need to get married every year for the rest of my life because how fabulous. I'll be using these tomorrow on the shoot, so stay tuned for that. Then we have the Erin Tuberose Du Jour fragrance. I actually have this on my shelves up there, so I'm gonna do this as part of a giveaway. Stay tuned for all the information on that. It'll be in, not next week's vlog, but the vlog after. I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway related to the shoot we're doing tomorrow. I feel like I'm giving you guys so many hints, but um, again, stay tuned. What's this? We have a little note with Josie written beautifully Beautifully? Beautifully in calligraphy. Dear Josie, I hope you enjoyed your lunch. It's fabulous to be able to style for you all. Best wishes. Georgia from Moriarty Events. And Moriarty Events are the ones that did the beautiful tablescape, transformed what is essentially a conference room at Claridge's into the most amazing lunch breakfast venue. So spectacular. Definitely wedding planner goals. In here, I have my donuts. They had a donut trolley. And most people most people were very civilized and only chose one donut. I, on the other hand, took five. So I have my lavender donut, I have my classic ice donut, my two mini donuts. This is also in my goodie bag. This was my place setting. Um, so it's a gorgeous sketch of myself enjoying a glass of Merch Champagne by Victoria Fitzroy Design. And I think she also did another one um, with additional sausage dogs in it, but I don't know if I managed to pick that one up. Hopefully, if not, I'm gonna email the girls and get that sent over, because she did say that she also had a sausage dog, a little wire-haired handsome chap, and she was going to do another sketch with Dexter and Dickens in it. Found it! So this is my second sketch from Victoria. 
Oh my goodness, we have Dexter <laughs> and Dickens both vying for my Moet Chandon Champagne. I am wearing the most beautiful dress. I don't know where this dress is from, but I need it in my life. This is amazing. Imagine having one of these for all of your guests at your wedding. Oh my gosh. I need to create like a vision board with all of these things on it. So lovely. This goodie bag continues. Wild Rose Beauty Balm from Neil's Yard Remedies. How divine does that sound? Wild Rose Beauty Balm. I love beauty balms. The more natural, the better. So one from Neil's Yard is going straight into my skincare routine. Then we have a box from Claridge's. What do we think this could be? I'm gonna guess a candle or a notebook or a pen or a paperweight. Who knows? Oh, it's a mug. Oh my goodness. One can never have too many beautiful luxury mugs in their house. This one, Oh my gosh, by William Edwards Fine Bone China. My cup of tea will taste even better in this. What a gorgeous gift. Here we go, the Bridal Bible. We have Brides Magazine. This is the latest edition, May, June, 2018. 250 pounds off a gown by Carolina Herrera. Hen do holidays. Let's get regal inside Megan's mega party. I'll be reading this tonight. Ooh, and we have also a little brochure in here from Sandals. Wowzers, that looks incredible. We have a Doisy and Dam dark chocolate goji and orange bar. Goji is my favourite superfood ingredient. And then a Bobbi Brown Longwear Concealer No Cream Shadow Stick in gold and bronze. I love it when there's actually wearable shades in goodie bags as opposed to turquoise eyeshadows, which I will never wear. Again, that's gonna come with me on holiday. And then we have Smoky Eye Mascara from Bobbi Brown, which I have tried before, big fan of that one. So that amazing selection is what was in my bride's goodie bag. Wow, I feel very lucky right now. Um, as you may have been able to tell from these items in the background, I have also had my blogger mail delivered, but I'm gonna do a hyper lapse for that because I don't wanna spoil any surprises for what we're doing tomorrow. So I'm gonna put all of this amazingness away um and i'll probably see you guys in the morning i don't think i'm gonna vlog anymore tonight because i've got a lot to do so i will see you guys tomorrow on our shoot day bye enjoy the hype lapse Tuesday and as you just saw today started with a lovely breakfast with Mulberry I will show you the bag that we are so kindly given um, in a few moments But first of all as you may be able to spot back in our favorite place Heads or House and I'm joined with I was trying to find you Sophie who you'll be seeing a lot in this week's weekly vlog and we've got Kat over there Who is going to be filming some very exciting things for us today? I'm not going to tell you what we're filming, but you will definitely guess um, but yeah, it's a very exciting day. Lots of flowers everywhere, lots of pretty dresses. So let's do it. almost done with our shoot day. I thought I would quickly show you my new bag. This is the beautiful Mulberry Seaton in the dark blush colour and oh my goodness it is very very me. There's a shoulder strap in there as well. I feel like it's going to go with a lot of summer outfits whether crossbody or like this so officially introducing you to my new baby. This is what it looks like crossbody. I think I even prefer it crossbody and I like to be hands-free when I'm out shopping so yes this will definitely come with me to Mexico Dallas, etc. I don't even know how you open it. Let's have a look. I guess you have to twist it. Yes, very snazzy. And then you've got a couple of different compartments. Very, very beautiful. Yay! Welcome to the Fashion Mom Blue Wars. Good morning. It is Thursday. I hope you can hear me over all the hair tryers going on in the background. It's a very busy day of events today. Didn't film yesterday because I was just at home filming a house tour, which is coming your way very soon. But yeah, lots of events today. Starting off here at Duck and Drive. I actually did a blog post about this place a little while ago. I'll leave that link down below. But it's the Jules Press Day, so I'm going to have a look around their lovely pieces. But first of all, it's time to do something fabulous with my hair. Always been the bad one Riding just to feel like 
light Screaming, dreaming, feeding fire We've got that something Hearts on fire, I'm dripping Tripping on your pale eyes Me and you for Hello darlings, I thought I would catch up with you very quickly So this morning, as you've seen Lots of really fabulous events And I've just nipped into two Brits coffee very nice now however I'm just about to meet Soph and we are going to be going to the De Beers press day which I'm very excited about obviously it's a brand that's very special to me as my own engagement ring is De Beers so we're gonna look at their new bridal collection or their existing bridal collection and um, yeah let's go we're gonna go and find Soph so I'm with my darling Soph are you excited to see yeah. that oh my god so De Beers excited. collection I feel like we're having such a lovely like <laughs> bridal themed week this we week are. we had our shoot and we're doing some exciting things on Saturday as well. Oh, so much to be revealed. But um, yeah, so here at De Beers, whoop, this is where I got my engagement ring from. And they have got a beautiful floral arch on the wall. Look at that, ready for their press day. So, I thought it was like a cut. It's a real <laughs> security guard looking very uh, proper in the window. But, uh, he looked so proper, I thought he wasn't real. <laughs> I thought he was a mannequin. He's a dripping diamond, he's not fine. Now he's being all gangster. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go and check it out. I'm holding on, if almost gone. Someday I know I'll finally make it through the game. Here we have some of the new collection. These are the new bridal rings. Soph and I have just been debating which ones are our favourites. This one is yet to be named, but looks remarkably similar to one Meghan Markle's ring. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got this one here, which is similar to mine in that it's got the beautiful halo, the aura style, parve around the band. And then this one, this one I feel is quite art deco. It's more of a square emerald diamond. I'm not sure, Soph knows a lot more of the technicalities than I do. And then, I'm not wearing my ring by the way because it's being re-shined by the lovely ladies upstairs. So I'll get it back looking extra sparkly in a second. The beautiful design is the angel with the split shank and the beautiful diamond in the middle which is raised. You can see there, which makes it extra sparkly. It catches the light beautifully. <laughs> and then you've probably spotted this one in the background, which is mine and Soph's yeah. favourite. Absolutely gorgeous. So this yeah. is a yellowy golden diamond in the middle. To be as only work with diamonds. With the parve aura around the outside. Stunning. And then we have this lovely bracelet, which I just tried on and looks incredible. This, many people may not have seen this before. This is diamonds in the rough before they've been polished up. To be as have all different coloured diamonds. These are a few. How gorgeous is that? And then we have got some of their more affordable jewellery. These are the bracelets. This one looks very similar to my ring aura style. And then this is a rather spectacular necklace from their archive collection. How fabulous is that? Feels almost like fabric the way that it moves. Wow, over 2,000 diamonds. Incredible. Last but not least, these beautiful earrings keep catching my eye, catching the light. So stunning. And these again have the parve diamonds on them. Looking absolutely divine. Sophie and I have also just got some candles personalised over here. We've got a candle personalisation station. How lovely is this? So we can get our names or will you marry me? <laughs> How gorgeous. So, so and I in the De Beers store, we've headed downstairs, which is where the event is taking place. Just had our hair done by the girls at Show Beauty. Show them the back of your hair. It looks so amazing. Oh my goodness. This is I love it. <laughs> wedding hair inspo. Do you think you're going to answer this style on your wedding day? I think I might. I really love it. It looks so Oh yeah. I'll do a little pan, pan, so it's going to take over. So we have this like... Ah, why are you upside down? Oh, it's okay. It'll flip back. <laughs> So I have this like plaits detail at the back. They did a couple of plaits and then they pulled it out, which looks amazing. And I've also had my engagement ring sparkled up. They have a machine or a, a contraption in the store which just puffs all the all the dirt off and makes it ultra sparkly again. So it's looking looking wonderful. We're gonna have another look at the collections upstairs mm -hmm. and um, yeah, enjoy all our beautiful diamond surroundings.
The sparkly wonder here is a 51 carat diamond ring worth over 10 million pounds. Let me give this a try. So he and I are being entrusted with some of the largest diamonds in the store. We're going to go in the photo booth. The one that I'm um, going to be wearing is 51 carat. 10 million pound diamond. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous to have something so spectacular on my finger, but let's give it a go. No. Small ones, only 10. Only 10 million, <laughs> oh, only 10, 10 carat. oh, 10 carats. We've come upstairs now and Leanne is showing us the For You Forever service at De Beers, which is where you can choose your diamond to create the perfect engagement ring. We're currently seeing how she is pushing in the claws after adjusting the size. What kind of ring would this be? What would be the name of this, this ring? This is a De Beers diamond, plain diamond classic ring. Plain so diamond classic. One of our classics, which also comes Beautiful. with down the shoulders as well. So this is how they look before the diamonds get popped in. So lovely, thank you. <laughs> Sophie and I are now at the Ritz. We're having our teas and just debriefing on our experience at De Beers. Very interesting to see their For You Forever service. And we met the lady who actually did my ring resizing and also did the engraving inside my ring. I don't know if many of you guys know this, but actually inside my engagement ring, I have the coordinates of the island where Charlie and I met and where we got engaged. Very sweet. And um, yeah, this is really lovely. We've, we've realized that we were there for about two hours. <laughs> We spent quite a lot of time there. I'm trying on the trying on the ring. Or ten million and three million. Oh pounds. my goodness, it's mind blowing. Mind blowing. It's so incredible. They have they have different showstopper pieces in there all the time. So sometimes they'll have huge diamond rings, sometimes I'll have these amazing archive collection necklaces which we also got to see. So definitely worth popping in for all of the sparkling inspiration. And uh, yeah, we're just having a nice tea and catch up now. Then I'm gonna go and have my lashes done, ready for holidays. And then I think we're gonna go to some cocktails, shall we? Yeah, shall, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Why not? Cheers to that. Hello again, darlings. It is now Saturday morning. I didn't film yesterday because it was another working from home day. Thought I'd update you quickly because my <laughs> face probably looks a bit different um, from when I last saw you. So on Thursday afternoon evening I went to get my lashes done after the De Beers event. I had individual lash extensions at a place in Soho called Lash Perfect. It took about an hour and a half to get the individual lashes stuck on and I'm very very pleased with the result because now I won't have to wear mascara when I'm on holiday which is super. And then my brows are looking very bushy and dark because last night I used my Eyelure at home dye brow kit to dye them so they're pretty crazy right now. I feel like very opposite extremes because I've had my hair coloured and my eyebrows darkened. Um, so I'm going to get them threaded later on today. Heading into town now, meeting Sophie again. She is a regular guest on today's vlog and we are actually doing something very exciting. We're going to the Ted Baker store on Floral Street near Covent Garden and we're going to look at some bridesmaid shoes for Soph and some wedding shoes and Ted Baker had this amazing service on today and one more day next month where you can get your shoes personalised. So we thought we'd nip into the store today. I'm running a little bit late, um, so I will see you there. So I've met with Soph again. We are in Covent Garden and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping today. But first things first, top priority is some bridesmaid shoes for Soph. So we have come to the Ted Baker store on Floral Street, which is a really big one. I used to come here all the time when I was at uni, but I haven't been here in ages. So um, yeah, we're gonna head upstairs for the Charmed Off Your Feet pop-up and uh, do some personalising. We've come upstairs to the top floor of the Floral Street store, which is absolutely beautiful, ginormous shopping space. We can't wait to have a little browse afterwards. But first things first, we've come to the Charmed Off Your Feet pop-up. 
up and Soph has got her Amari shoes which are going to be her wedding shoes, getting them personalised and then um, we have got no less than four pairs of bridesmaid shoes that we're also going to be personalising. So this is in store here and in Manchester and Glasgow today and also on the 12th of May for the date in your diaries so let's see how they do it. And you'll peel off the back of this one, and stick it onto the shoe, hold for about a minute or so, it can go in this little um, yeah. section of the shoe just here mm -hmm. and then Personalized shoe. That's amazing. Just deciding what she's going to put on the bridal shoes here. And these are the charms. So we get to choose five charms for each shoe. Oops, I'm flinging them all around. Um, and they are these gorgeous little rose gold, or yeah, rose gold, of course. It is Ted Baker. And they will go on the sole of the shoes here. How adorable. This is like a little travel folio. Your honeymoon, Mrs. on the front. First pair is done. What do you think, so? They look really beautiful. So, so gorgeous. There we go. Get a little close up. Oh, focus. There we go. So this is Sophie's wedding date on the bottom in the rose gold charms. Let's have a look at the actual shoe. Oh my god, that is so, so nice. I feel like these are perfect bridal shoes, especially, I'll show you the bridesmaid one in a second. They're kind of matching. These are the Seema shoes, which us bridesmaids are having, so they're kind of matching. Very, very similar in style, but different enough. Mine are next, the smallest of the lot, the size three. And we're going to get the wedding date and our initials on these ones. number two so this service is in this store Manchester and Glasgow and it's totally free whether you buy your shoes in the store on the day or you can bring in a pair of Ted Baker shoes that you've bought recently so make the most of it so admiring the detail on the shoes the beautiful metallic tip and then you've got this Ted Baker classic rose gold bow on the back the diamante detail there and then Soph just spotted this quote on the bottom it says Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life totally true good excuse for a new pair of shoes I've got distracted and I think I found my dream spring coat oh my goodness Look at the scalloped sleeves. I'm gonna have to try this on. Is it scalloped at the back? Oh my goodness. Oh. That is so, so beautiful. Before we head out of Ted Baker, Soph and I have just nipped downstairs and in the Floral Street store, they have like a bridal wedding gown try on area. It's so beautiful. You get a glass of champagne when you come, try on your dresses with your bridesmaids, and they've got the bags, the accessories. Let me give you a little tour because this room is so pretty. Which dress were you eyeing up, Soph? Soph's already got her wedding dress, but. Love this jumpsuit. Oh, that would be nice for a wedding breakfast. <laughs> You're the same height as one of the legs. That is so cute. That would be amazing to wear like the morning, the day after the wedding. Yeah, or your rehearsal. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, what's that feathery item? Is that a little bolero? How fabulous for a winter wedding. <laughs> it's got wings. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is fabulous. Wow, are they ostrich feathers? So stunning. Oh my goodness, oh and look at the coat hangers as well. All these details. Flowers on the ceiling. Wowzers. Oh, that's gorgeous. Like a little three quarter one. Oh my goodness, I saw that one at the press day. It is spectacular. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you would never think these are like high street wedding dresses, would you? So, this is what the room looks like. You've got this beautiful floral area, some lovely um, notebooks, wed with Ted, little gift boxes, some shoes to try on. A little jewellery area over on this side. 
And then this is where you go to try on your wedding dress. Oh, so they've even got little robes, look. I'm gonna stand on the plinth. Whoop. My outfit of the day, I will show you. Isn't it cute? I have got Ted Baker ruffle sleeve top on. My favorite skirt. How cute. Wow, this is such a lovely space for the jewelry. They've got like the belt <gasps> to add to the dresses. Oh my goodness, so personalizable. Is that a tiara or a necklace? It might be a necklace, like a choker. Oh, cute. Soph and I are taking a quick break from shopping. We've come to the Ivy and we have got my favorite travel arancini balls. Soph's having her first taste. What do you reckon? Very good. I feel like I was trying to be the in. Home again from the shopping trip. I've just had my eyebrows threaded on Clapham High Street, so they look a bit red. That is why. Very successful uh, morning shopping. We got all the bridesmaid shoes. Sophie's taken all of them except for my pair, and they are absolutely perfect. I also nipped in to Mulberry and Reese. I'm going to show you what I got from Reese because it's such a beautiful piece. I feel like it's the kind of coat that I will wear so much over the next few months, especially perfect for spring and summer as well. And I'm definitely going to take it to Dallas with me. And then I'm going to continue packing. I was packing last night so I'm gonna carry on with that but um, yeah before I finish the vlog I'm gonna show you my new coat because it's rather wonderful I'm so sorry about the messy surroundings but that is what happens when you're getting ready to go so this is my new coat I have to undo this little um, stitch detail here so that it flops open but it's like a beautiful champagne colored I want to say it's like a satin material but it's definitely got a sheen to it I got a size 4 fits really perfectly on the shoulders hello my young man are you gonna climb in mummy's suitcase? No, just gonna look at mummy. Sweet little boy. Um, yeah, so I've tied it in the middle. I think that's a really nice way of wearing it. It's just the perfect thing to have at this time of year when you just want a little something on. I probably won't wear it as a day coat because it's far too, far too snazzy. But yeah, you'll be seeing me wearing this a lot in upcoming videos, so I thought I would introduce it to you now. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I already started editing it and it is quite a long one. So I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along on this very bridal themed week. Where is he? He's hiding under there, he won't let me get him. Such a minx. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Do give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know also what other kind of bridal content you'd like to see because this one has obviously been quite wedding focused and it'd be interesting for me to know if you are keen for more wedding content or what you'd like to see, what you don't care about seeing, let me know um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!